Have you ever heard of a C and E Christian or a C and E Catholic? It's the Christmas and Easter Catholic or the Christmas and Easter Baptist. We have, we have them in the Protestant world, we have them in the Catholic world. So there is also an expression called the buffet Catholic. That's the Catholic that wants to pick and choose. 55% of Roman Catholics voted for President Barack Hussein Obama. All right, I argue without flinching, and I'm right, that this was an, it was a, an objective betrayal of the faith. It was, an, it was objectively a betrayal of Jesus himself, of Christ. Because Jesus said, whatever you do to the least of these, my brothers, you do to me. And Barack Hussein Obama came into the presidency with blood on his hands, the blood of unborn babies, and he pledged that he was going to help Planned Parenthood. He pledged he was going to do everything in his power to keep the abortion mills, the child killing centers in full operation. And he's made good on his promise. And he could never have been elected president if it wasn't for Roman Catholics. Randall, why you bring this up? Well, interestingly, Catholics culturally are Democrats. Now, there's a growing number of, of Catholics that are becoming Republicans because of the Democratic Party's position on child killing and more recently on marriage. So there are Catholics that are just saying, I didn't leave the party, the party left me. But there are still a great number of Catholic Democrats. And guess who's going to jump on this? Hillary. Bernie won't because Bernie Sanders is Jewish, so he's, he's not going to do it. He's not going to wade into who, <laughs> who's a good Christian or who's not a Christian at all. Um, you know, theologically, I have to just point something else out because, again, I, I, you know, if, at the time of this recording, there has not been a, an apology or a clarification issued from the Pope. It would not surprise me by the time you're seeing this the night before the South Carolina, uh, that there already has been an apology, all right? Some clarification is going to come. You can bank on it. And the reason why is because Catholic theology holds that a person is a Christian by virtue of their Trinitarian baptism. I'll say that again. Catholic theology holds that a Christian is a Christian by virtue of his or her Trinitarian baptism. I baptize you, whether it's immersion or whether it's on the forehead, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen, okay? Water on the head, Trinitarian, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. That's what makes a person a Christian. They're marked, they're sealed with Christ's seal, okay? That is Catholic theology. So for the Pope to say that somebody's not a Christian because they want to build a wall, it's, it's just, it was bad. It was just not true. It's not right. It was not, it was not, it's not even Catholic. It's not even a Catholic position to hold. The Pope knows that a Catholic can do, or a Christian can do a lot of bad things. Okay? A lot of bad things. All right. People who are watching this are going, yeah, and the people say the Pope's infallible. Listen, pap the doctrine of papal infallibility has to do with the teaching of faith and morals, okay? That's it. Papal infallibility, it comes from the doctrine of the, the heir of St. Peter, the successor who sits in the Petrine chair or St. Peter's chair, that when that Pope speaks from the chair, ex cathedra, that he is not going to promote error. That's it. So on issues of, and, and it's only on issues of faith and morals, not on politics, okay? Not on wars, on matters of faith and morals. That's it. So the Pope wasn't making a statement about the Trinity. He wasn't making a statement about consubstantiation or about transubstantiation or about the dual nature of Christ. He was saying that he thought somebody who wanted to build a wall and not build bridges was not Christian. Oh my goodness. Can I use a Jewish phrase as I go out? Oi, hey, oi. <laughs>